We're going to be using various selection tools to uh, select and move and also we'll be selecting to scale. So let's first go down to the sand dab image with the quick selection tool and we place it inside the sand dab and it will select by the contrast between the background and the edge of the sand dab. So we can see that it's already done the selection. We'll move using the move tool up to the square A in the shadow box at the top of the image. Then go into the select menu at the top of the workspace and deselect it. Now there's an object just below the sand dab where it used to be. The way we're going to select this is with a subtractive selection. So we'll go into the marquee tool. We're going to draw a rectangle around that object to include some of the background, which is white. So if we use the magic wand tool, which selects by color, and we do a subtractive selection by holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on a PC, you see the minus sign, and we subtract the white pixels from that rectangle or square, leaving just the object. Go to the Move tool, and let's move that up and place it over B in the shadow box. Now we'll do the same thing with a piece of coral, which was next to that object, by drawing with the rectangular marquee. So we're selecting by color, we're selecting out the white, leaving just the coral. Now let's work on the magnetic lasso for the muscle shell, which is in the lower right corner. You can see the little magnet next to the arrow on the cursor, and if we move this along the edge, it will select the edge. And this is helpful where you don't have a lot of contrast between the edge and the background. In this case we have a lot of contrast. So this is really not necessary but we're doing it just to show what the magnetic lasso will do. And it just keeps pinning down the selection onto the edge as we move it around. And now we'll use the move tool to move that up. and we'll transform it by rotating it. So that will be Edit, Transform, Rotate with the cursor by dragging the cursor. And we'll drag it a little bit more vertically after we try and position it. It's a little off. We'll drag it over a little more before we actually accept it by clicking the check box. Check mark rather. Now we'll go for the Nautilus shelf for box E. For that I'm going to use the quick selection tool once more. That was the first one we used because there's a pretty strong boundary contrast around the edge of that Nautilus shell. So this should work rather rather well. Go into the Quick Selection tool, place it in the center of the Nautilus shell, move it around and it should select, and there it did, the whole shell. Okay, we're going to move it and deselect it. Now the screw head's a little bit more 
problematic because we're going to use the elliptical marquee selection tool and it's very hard to get a perfect circle unless you hold the shift option key down or the shift alt key so what you do with the left mouse button is start the circle in the center of the screw head just a little bit then hold shift option and continue to drag toward the outside and it will form a circle as you drag so watch that as I do it and I'm going to move the selection itself down with the arrow keys so it symmetrically surrounds the screw head but first let's scale it make it about half size then we'll move it with the shift or option for the alt key to make a copy as we move it it's about the right size accept it after we move it to the boundary Now we move it again. Now just the option key or the alt key and keep doing that for all four. And that is pretty much all we can do with this lesson.